I love the look of a bun. And this next video is going to show you how to create a sleek bun without putting any stress on your edges. I'm Genuine Nard and this is everything I've learned about growing my natural type 4 hair. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and thanks. I love a sleek bun. It is great for the office when you just want to put your hair out of your face and get to work. A bun is going to do that and it's very sophisticated. The sleeker, the better. However, you have to be really careful when doing a bun because you can put a lot of stress on those gentle hairline follicles and you can permanently damage them if you're too rough with your hair. These are a few pictures of what I mean. You can see that this tight bun is putting a lot of stress on her delicate hairline. If we pull too tight, we can rip the hair out from the bulb. This is not the same as shedding. It is pulling, and it gets progressively worse over time. Remarkably, this might be reversible. Once we stop putting stress on the hairline when styling, our hair can recover. But in this picture, once the follicle dies, a hair transplant is often the only solution. The way that I do buns is I work in sections and I do a wet set. Let me show you exactly how I do it. So my hair is freshly washed. It has conditioner in it. And I'm gonna start my wet set. So I try to finger detangle my hair and work in sections. I find this is the best way to work with my texture. In the back of my head, my texture is different than the front. So in the back, I'm a solid 4C, 4B. In the front, I'm a 4B, 4A. Because I know my hair is texture and porosity, I'm just gonna section it off and make sure that each part of my hair gets the attention that it needs. Finger detangling is the best way to go at this point. And as you can see, I'm soaking wet. And I'm gonna do another clip for this section. Now we're ready to pull out our secret weapons. And as you can see, I have some hairline stress that is starting to recover. So I'm using my rice water mix. And now I'm going to do a smaller section, not as small as a passion twist, but small enough so that this area can get a little bit of stretching before I start really having to process it. I like to have this part of my hair where my texture is coarser completely detangled. And it looks like I'm working really fast, but I'm not. This footage is sped up because nothing is more boring than watching me style my hair. And it's a gentle twist so that it can air dry just a little in a stretched position. I find my hair does better when it's stretched. So let's finish this entire back section now. And I find that if I hold my hair as I comb it out using my bamboo comb, which is extremely gentle, I don't get as much pulling from the root. <sighs> I am almost done. And now I'm just going to take this section and put it up in a clip until I work to the next part. We are ready to start detangling the front and side sections of my hair. I'm going to use my bamboo comb to start a little section and then I'm going to finger detangle my hair. And it does look like I am going fast, but I'm not. This footage is sped up. 
Whenever I feel a little tangle, I just lean forward so that those tangles will fall right out. If you've used a really good leave-in conditioner and detangler, it's going to give your hair slip so that there's no stress on your hair. And that's a fairly straight line, but it doesn't have to be that straight because you will not see the line in the finished bun. Oof. Now I'm going to give it some hydration with my rice water. And I'm going to detangle from the ends, working towards the scalp. And there's no pulling because I am making sure that my hair has very little stress. And the comb will glide right through. Now the way that I make my bun look tight is I cheat with gel. This gel has been tricked out with orange blossom water, so it smells amazing. And I just work that gel from the edges of my hair all the way to about midsection. And I'm going to let the gel do the smoothing. Once one section's done, I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. I forgot to seal my moisturized, hydrated hair with oil. And once that oil hits it, it adds so much shimmer and shine. This everything oil is fabulous. Check out the video if you haven't seen how to make it. And my 4C, 4B hair loves, loves, loves oil. So now both sides have a good dollop of gel. Let's get that in there. Where is that? And I'm going to add just a little bit more to both sides. And now I'm going to gather this hair from not the edges, but from the center. So it's just gathered from the edges. I'm smoothing it down with a boar bristle brush, but I am not pulling it gathering it from the edges, binding it to the center of my head. And I take a binder and I gather these two sections loosely in my first of three buns. So now my ends are exposed and that is the start of this updo. Now I'm going to go back to the back section. I forgot to seal my ends with a good oil. So everything oil goes in each one of my twists. Now it does take a lot of time to do a, a two strand twist when I'm only going to take them out in a few minutes to do an updo. But that little bit of extra stretching is so much better for my hair. I don't have any stress on my hair trying to stretch it as I am putting it up, all I'm doing is gathering it and then I'm letting the gel do most of the work. So now I am going to add my delicious smelling gel and I'm going to use my brush. Let's see if I can turn this. So I'm using my brush. It's distributing the gel. If you notice, even in the back, I try not to go to the very edges of my hair because my hair is more delicate at the edges, at the hairline. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm taking my first bun and my second bun and I'm wrapping them together. And it's once and then it's twice and it's done. Now we can start detangling the front section and I'm stretching without pulling letting the slip of my conditioner do most of the work. And then I'm sealing in all that delicious moisture with my everything oil. And I'm going to make sure everything is detangled. So another section. Now let's get these last two sections, just doing a simple middle part, finger detangling, clip 
And once those are detangled the same way, I'm going to put some gel, a generous amount on my hairline, pulling my hair, not from my hairline, but from the center of my hair. And I'm gently binding it. Do I have it? Okay, we're going to do this one more time. So I'm going to pull my hair, not from my hairline, but from the center. And I'm using my largest binder. I'm pulling it over the other two buns, giving it one twist. And then I'm going to pull all of the hair over the other two buns, tucking my ends as much as I can as I go. So now I'm just going to distribute that gel. I try not to touch my hairline as much as I can at this point. And now I'm going to use a little bit of my winterizing cream just to give my hair that extra bit of sealant. And as you can see, I'm not fighting my texture. Now my secret weapon is this great tool. It's TGIN Smooth and Hold Edge Control. This is everything. This will hold my hair in place, giving me a sleek look without any stress until I wash it again. And now I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any clumps by brushing it through, barely touching my hairline. And I'm being very gentle and deliberate here. Now the last thing I do is I use my grandmama's little trick Once I'm all smooth, I'm going to let my hair air dry and it will stretch inside of my stocking cap. <laughs> I start at my bun and I pull it down. And now my hair is going to air dry in place. All I have to do then is once I take my stocking cap off, my hair is dry, my edges are smooth, and there's no stress on my hairline. Yay! So once it's air dried, all I really have to do then is remove my little stocking cap and voila, my hair is set until I wash it out again. This will last for several days and it's a really, and it's a really simple bun. You know, it looks like it's a tight bun, but it's not putting any stress on my follicles because each section is smoothed and then the gel is stretching my hair as it dries. So if you like to wear a lot of those cute little stylish buns, think about working in sections. Try this way and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you haven't done it already, subscribe to the tribe. And if you have, thank you for coming back. And hit me up on Facebook, um, click like, and I appreciate your time. Thanks. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me how it turned out for you in the comments. Click like, subscribe and ring that bell for all the videos in this playlist. Or just view these next two. And thank you again for watching. Alright, that's it. <laughs>